Jonas, congratulations. Just how much does that win mean to you? <coughs> a lot. Uh, it's, it's it's been a for, for me individually, it's been a long-term goal to reach the semi-finals in the Champions League. Uh, I was lucky the first game as a head coach <coughs> that I ever had on a competitive level in women's football was in the quarter-final in Champions League, 2013. So we went to Lyon and I was very confident we were going to win. We lost 5 nothing. So from there on, I'm very happy that now, 10 years later, that we, we go into the semi-finals. And for the club, it's obviously a similar story because it's also a decade ago that, that Arsenal were in the semi-finals. And uh, it, it's an incredible achievement that we are so proud of. And um, I told the players before the game that I think what the second half against Bayern Munich and the performance in the Conte Cup final against Chelsea told me was to say we, we have the potential when we hit all things perfect to beat any team. That doesn't mean it's easy or we can do it every time, but we have that potential as a team. So if we now have that, wouldn't it be incredible and beautiful if we can bring that to one more stage in this competition and to see how, how strong our wings are and how high we can fly together. And uh, we managed to do that today. And that's a proud moment, uh, not only for me, but for the whole club. And how much belief does that give you that this could potentially be a really special end to the season for us? <coughs> like I said, it, I, I, I think if we hit it right, we, 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 don't, we, we can beat any team, but it also means that there is a lot of work going into the performances like this and, and being consistent. So I don't take anything for granted and we know that every opponent will play even better and will prepare even more voracious against us because we're now the Champions League semi-finalists. So of course we know that, um, but uh, we, we need to, to deal with that situation and do our very best. Just finally for me, any latest on an injury front? A couple of players coming off with what look like potentially serious injuries. Yeah, I, I don't know because it's still too too soon. They couldn't carry on to play and we, uh, we need to use the the hours this evening and tomorrow in order to get a clear understanding of, uh, of what kind of injuries there is and when we have more things to, you know, more information, of course we will update. Tim. Uh, Jonas, I, I wanted to ask how happy you were with the variety your team showed because obviously Arsenal started really quickly, really intense and that was clearly part of the game plan, but then the second half you had to bring the game under a bit more control trying to do that with two centre-halves on yellow cards without Kim Little. How happy were you with your team and you know players changing position? Just how happy with the were you with the flexibility your players showed? <coughs> yeah, I, I like that because we, we knew that some part of it, of course, you, you have to defend a little bit lower against a team like Bayern also. It's not our preference, but we get forced to do it because we, we're not quite getting our positioning right, so we drop a little bit deeper. But what I think it's the big difference between this game and the game that we played last week against them is that when we get into those moments we don't lose our discipline. We did that a little bit in the other games. We start opening up central areas and Bayern is very very skillful there. Now the only thing that was happening was that they could switch the ball but on the outside of our organization it was very rarely they came inside to our organization and, and played and i think you can see that when you look through the whole game that there is not a lot of goal scoring opportunities that buying create i think clara bulls one where they actually switch play and they come inside our organization in the beginning of the second half is probably the strongest one that they have in the game but if you look for 90 minutes against a high quality team like Bayern munich i think that's a very impressive defensive display from us and uh, yeah that was preempts my second question a bit actually i, I thought the job that steiner and frieda did on because Bayern, so much of what they do is present brazil and stanway and i thought the job that steiner and frieda did almost blocking that and making sure that the ball came outside. Um, it sounds like clearly that was something you talked about before the game. Yeah, it was. And <clears throat> but also how the whole team's shape is affecting of that because what you could see in the first game was that when we were losing our shape a little bit there and then 
it became too big of a space for Fried and Stina to deal with in the pressure. But when we engage our central midfield and wide forwards better and we keep our team shape better in pressing, now we also limit the distances that they have to cover and that makes a huge difference. So I think the players really got that right at many times um, tonight and the first goal is, is one example of that. Of course it's also a great strike from Freedom One, so I'm not saying it's just down to pressing, but without those pressing we don't get the ball here in the first place. Emma? Yeah, Jonas, I guess you know, when you think back to this a couple of months ago uh, in January when people were saying that you, know, you were struggling to score goals and perhaps going through a bit of a goal drought and many people might have written you off in the, in the WSL title race and here you are potentially going on to win three trophies this season so you know, given the, the way that the, sort of the team has dug in and sort of perhaps fought back at those suggestions, how much of that kind of pleases you? Yeah, like <coughs> those things there, I, I don't think got to to the team or to me uh, too much because <coughs> we we know at the end of the day we, we we came from an autumn that also was difficult for us when we dealt with injuries. Uh, I mean, it's not many teams that can lose Leah Williams and Rafael Sosa for for so long time and still be able to to display strong performances so so we know that the squad in itself is a strength <clears throat> and we know that the the spirit we have in the team it's it's not something that we take for granted it's a special team um, and we know that that that's always important when we want to have strong performances so uh, I think today was was another story of that and um, we we have a technical team together with the players that work so very hard to getting these these details right. So that's all we're focusing on. And <clears throat> you're right with the potential that we can win, but it's also it's so small margin still. So we need to understand that, and we can't be be satisfied with anything yet. We need to push really, really hard and make the most of every opportunity. And then we have to see in the end where that leads us. Yeah, and just funny for me in terms of that kind of momentum that, that you get from winning these big games, you know, you said there about telling the players about the League Cup final before this game, that can only help experiencing more and more of these nights and more and more of these kind of, you know, big wins to go on and perhaps achieve more. Of course, I think process is really important. Process with results creates belief and uh, it means that the things that you are doing I think you are more inclined to do it again when you see that that you win football matches from it. So it helps you create that story, the narrative. Um, so yeah, I think that that is important. You can you can sustain a good process for a for maybe a medium period of time without getting the results. But but in the end, you also need the results to to back it up. So uh, I think. This is what this month also have given us, that we have shown that we can create some big results and hopefully that creates a lot of belief as well. Pat. Hi, um, I was just wondering, would it be fair to say with, I guess, looking back at Barcelona game last year, Wolfsburg game last year, and the work behind that, say, um, training with the academy boys after that, is that all worked to kind of these performances in both legs against Bayern? Is that kind of what, where you wanted to get them from those moments? <clears throat> yeah, I think of, I think time is is important because it means that we can we can deal with more situations. We have experienced more situations here now together. I think it's. I also think it's huge what we have built together with the supporters. If I look back at what, what was from the first game at the Emirates when we played Chelsea in the WSL Open or we played Wolfsburg here last spring and we see the progress that the club, the team and the supporters has made together and to create the night that we do tonight. I, I think that's part of helping us being successful here tonight as well. Uh, but uh, I think you're right in that, that all those experiences have helped us to, I, I mean, 
I don't know if the word perfect is the right word, but it, it helps us because when, when you lose football matches and you experience things now, of course, what you need to try to come up is a way to be even better in the future. And I think we have, we have managed to, to do that. So um, that, that has come now to a point where we feel like we are performing very strongly, but we need to keep on doing that. There was also a thing we could learn from the game today. And on your first point, um, obviously Arteta and Eddie were here today. I was wondering, did they come and see uh, the team before or after the game? Did they have anything to, anything to say? No, I, I got a very nice message from from Edu after the after the game, um, and it's the, the support of from the whole club is is magnificent. Um, there. Um, talk a lot when you are in Arsenal and around that, that <coughs> we, um, we always act with class, um, but when you're, when you're inside the organization, you really understand the meaning of, of those words, that it's just not something that is written on, uh, on a wall, that it's something that's ingrained in, from, from top management and it spreads down uh, in the organization. So uh, that, that that communication and, and the belief from them, it's it's amazing. Thank you. Hi, Emma, so congrats on the win. Just going back to some of what Emma was saying in terms of the attack, I mean, just wanted to get your thoughts in terms of how, obviously, Frida, Caitlin, um, and Victoria Polova, and Stine have all kind of evolved, over, you know, up to this period in terms of following the injuries to um, to me, Mara and me, just in terms of these big games now where they're just getting these uh, big goals, they're particularly taking you into, you know, the, the semis for the first time in the decade, as you said. Yeah, I think what's, what's pleasing when you see with pressing and the goals scored is that it doesn't come from, from just um, randomness. Like, of course, Frida can't hit the ball like that every time she shoots. But she's constantly staying after every practice to practice those long distance shooting. So it, it's not like she's only doing that on, on the first day. It's like she's been doing that now for, for consecutive months. And I'm a big believer in that those things pays off. Uh, Stina as well, she, she works so hard with after each practice to just continue to work on her positioning. And you can see how well that off the ball movement is for the second ball a goal when she when she works in the back of, of Kumagai and don't get dragged too much to the to the ball and that's what creates that that finishing opportunity so I think it's it's that work that it's very pleasing to see that you get rewarded for uh, because I think that is very tangible for us in our environment to see that you get rewarded for that so now that can spread as the culture, that the things we work on on the training pitch is something we, we get rewarded for in the weekend. And the more we understand that connection, the better our training culture will become. And the better our training culture will become, the better we will play. So I think that's the, that's the flywheel we want to create. And hopefully moments like that can make it spin a little bit faster. Tom? Congratulations, Jonas. Can I just ask if that feels like your biggest night here in the stadium for the women's team? Uh, yeah, probably. Um, I think so. We, uh, of course, it was special when when I came here when we played Chelsea in the first game and we beat them three two as well. But that was a very limited time that that we had worked together here now. This feels like Art was speaking about, like this feels like 20 months culmination of work going into to a performance here over a double header, which I think we win well deservedly against one of the best teams in, in Europe at the moment. So uh, uh, that's, we're very proud of that. And, and I ask that because I wonder how much you feel the club's decision to play more games here has helped you build up that familiarity so that you can deliver and be more used to these, this arena. I think when we talk about growing the game, I think that's absolutely fundamental for, for creating these um, moments with, with our supporters, but also to give the supporters the chance to experience the team life. <clears throat> I, I think it's absolutely been fundamental that without us being 
able to experience to play here so many times, but also to get the supporters here to experience it so many times with us, helps us to do this tonight. So um, I really hope that that continues to push and uh, I, I, I get the sense of, of belief that we're, we're seeing history gets created very quickly in front of our eyes. When, when I see how the, how the attendance is, the culture is here at Emirates Stadium. Uh, five years ago, if someone would have said that Arsenal's long-term plan is to move permanent to Emirates Stadium, people would probably have been thinking about how is that going to happen for it. Now, I think people understand that that might be a realistic vision for the future. Thanks. Were you surprised how vulnerable Bayern were to your pressing? Um, and how little they seem to go long to kind of just beat the press with more direct passes? Um, yes and no, because you have to remember that when we got our pressing right against Chelsea, it also looked similar to it. Um, and I don't read a lot in um, in the newspapers, but one I read occasionally is uh, the Chelsea captain Magdalena Eriksson because I think she's she has a lot of sound ideas. Uh, it, it's an uh, both an athlete and a person <coughs> I respect a lot. And I, 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 someone sent me what she had written before the the quarterfinals, and she was talking about the way it felt to play against our pressure, uh, and if that's what it feels like, then that's great and that's what we want to try and and achieve and I think that's what <coughs> uh, was, was coming to Bayern tonight as, as well. Uh, we still need to make that things even better but it's a real strength for ours. It's a pressing game. And just one quick one. Was that, your, was that Parsons' best performance under your age? I don't know. Uh, I, I think those things are so hard to... Uh, to answer, but it's definitely um, there on a top ten at least. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys.